we'll do the same thing and we'll wait on the government to speak. Okay. And before you start, this is Ann Erling over here, and she is our deputy uh, chief of staff, and she's going to read something here in just a few minutes and all this is about a wonderful day and a proclamation that we had today. Before we go any further, though, I've got to just tell you this. You know, listen, every day that I have the opportunity to be with kids, I eat it up because I mean it when I tell you that I love you, and I mean it with all my soul. And, uh, and it's fun. You know, it, they make you, if you'll just give them and extend that hand, they make you feel anew in many ways. I just asked this fellow what his name was. He said, Bryce. I said, good enough. Then, then I asked this character right here what his name was. He said, Robert, and then Robert, come over here. Just come right here. I understand. I talk loud, okay? I said, Robert, where are you from? And what did you say? West Virginia. West Virginia. <laughs> Too good. Okay. <laughs> then I said, what town are you from? He said, Winfield. Uh, Winfield School, rather, I asked you. And everything. Neat, neat, neat stuff. And this is Addison, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like your hair, man. You're looking yeah. good there. Okay? Okay. And it's all yours. All right. Whereas the school breakfast program is dedicated to the health and well-being of our nation's children, and whereas the school breakfast program has been joined through the years by Fuel Up to Play 60 and many other excellent child nutrition program and partners, and whereas there is evidence of continued need for nutrition education and awareness of the value of school nutrition programs. And whereas an average of 3 million school breakfasts are served monthly to students at more than 700 sites in West Virginia, West Virginia is ranked first in the nation for breakfast participation, according to Food Research and Action Center school card. Whereas the West Virginia Feed to Achieve Act emphasizes all West Virginia students shall have adequate time and availability for school breakfast. And whereas the week of March 2nd through the 6th, 2020, be recognized as National School Breakfast Week in West Virginia. And whereas this week is devoted to the recognition of dedicated and hardworking people who make the school breakfast program a reality in their schools. And whereas this special week serve as a fitting time to urge all West Virginia citizens to become aware of the solid foundation for learning provided by a nutritious breakfast. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Justice, governor of the great state of West Virginia, do hereby proclaim March 2nd through the 6th, 2020, as National School Breakfast Week in the Mountain State and encourage all citizens to become aware and concerned about their children's and their own nutrition habits in hope of achieving a more healthy citizenry for today and in the future. In witness whereof, I hereunto set my hand and cause the great seal of the state of West Virginia to be affixed. Done at the capital, city of Charleston, state of West Virginia, the sixth day of February, in the year of our Lord, 2020, and in the, in, in the 157th year of our state. Thank you. Very good. Children that are going to say a couple of words. So, Addison, will you start us out? And you can stand right there and use your outside voice so everybody can hear you. Hi, I'm Addison, and I think it is great that our school offers breakfast. Some kids are not able to have breakfast at their house. Some might come to school hungry. It is hard to learn and pay attention when you're hungry.
in the morning, um, it gives me energy and it gets me fueled up for my day. Very good. Good job, girl. Good job. Good job. Good job. Luke, okay. Come out. They have a, the, the, okay, so we have Winfield Elementary and we have Point Pleasant High School. <laughs> So this is Luke and Hannah to say a couple words. Uh, breakfast at our school is important for multiple reasons. <clears throat> Some kids at our school have time constraints in the morning, such as like a class before school. And sometimes they just don't have time in the mornings to get breakfast and get ready for school. <clears throat> uh, some students have medical conditions such as diabetes or hypoglycemia, where they need to have a regular schedule at which they eat and having breakfast there in the morning and having a snack for them throughout the day that they can have if they need it is very important for their for their health. And some students unfortunately come from homes that can not provide them all of their basic needs. So having breakfast read, readily available for them at the school is very important for their daily routine. Thank you. where they can't really eat food before they get to school. So I think it's a very good thing that we have breakfasts ready for them at school. Because without breakfast, there's a ton of things that could happen. You can, you're going to be hungry throughout the day, of course. You can feel sick, nauseous, get headaches, migraines, which are the worst. And if you don't have medicine for that, it's kind of, you can't carry medicine to school. Um, you can feel tired, you're not going to be able to focus in class which is going to cause you to fall behind in your classes, which is not good for anybody. And it has a bunch of just serious things that could happen, which is why I'm very glad that we have breakfasts at school. So at this time, I want to, th I want to recognize some people in the audience. Um, and I'm going to have um, Amanda Harrison help me with that. But we have county nutrition directors present. So if you guys would stand up and be recognized. We have the USDA present. I know you're in here somewhere back here. Okay. Mrs. Sullivan from our State Board of Education. We have our Department of Education. Um, Michelle Blatt, are you here? There you are. Okay, thank you. And we also have um, the Office of Child Nutrition State staff with us. So if you all would raise your hands and be recognized. lovely teachers and principals that have brought the students, Mr. Layton, Ms. Glasscock, and, and Ms. Hatfield for bringing the students. Amanda 
Harrison, our State um, Director of Child Nutrition. Thank you. So I just want to say that it's really incredible that this year's theme by the School Nutrition Association for National School Breakfast Week is School Breakfast is Out of This World. And I think the West Virginia Breakfast Story is one that is truly out of this world. Teachers and schools have allowed the world of food service to invade their classrooms and to interact with them in a way that's new and different. And because of that, we saw our participation go from 28% to 82%. And that's huge. And that cannot be done without lawmakers, principals, teachers, food service directors, cooks, and students who show up with their bright and beautiful faces each and every day. Child nutrition is very important, um, and I want to recognize again everyone else that was mentioned and say that I really appreciate our team. In the state of West Virginia alone, we served over 2 million dinners last year. So we are truly, from start to finish, encompassing and engulfing these students in their best hope and their best chance for child nutrition and health and wellness opportunities. So I'll be brief and just say thank you all very much. As a working mom, breakfast at the school is accessible and easy. But for so many of our kids, it's a lifeline. And it's part of the curricula, it's part of the school day. So thank you all for the support of this program. And um, thank you for celebrating with us today. Oh, no, I love they that. have a breakfast pledge poster they're going to take back to the school and we want you to be the first to sign it. Oh. And while he's signing it, anybody that would like to be in a group picture, please surround at this time and uh, then they can take a group picture before he has another to get it. say one more thing. Yes. You know, every day our school, you know, personnel, I mean our service personnel is there and they're our cooks or they're the people that are helping clean up or whatever they may be doing.
But every day they're there and they're helping others in every way. And we should always remember them too because they're a great big part of the cog and everything and they're really making things happen. So uh, let's always take time to thank those that are preparing the food and helping the kids and everything. Take time to love them in every way because they're real special too. All right, thank